Hi guys, welcome back to Future Dimensions 360. As you know, in our last tutorial, we had learned about a bit events. So in today's tutorial, we will be learning about use state. Use state is a hook and that's very common topic in React JS. So first of all, let me give you an example how React works and what use state hook is actually. Use state hook is actually a kind of hook or a function you can say that will allow you to maintain and change the state values of each component. If I will go back to my React, uh, my visual code, let's say I in vanilla, vanilla JavaScript, if I'll see in my documentation as well, if you if you are going to create any kind of variable, you can just simply create let war or const variable name and then give it the value and later on you can change that value as well. But in react what happened is these values are useless you cannot go on with that you must keep the values inside the state so you can keep track on those how let me show you it's let's say const and what you have to do here is it will use state hook is nothing but just a function if i will say use state hook is a function that takes an initial value of a variable as an input let's say I will pass a value 123 or let's say I will say 100 value and it will return to an array of object as a uh, an array of object as a return from use state hook so that will contain like the value let's say I, I what I want is let's say in a state state where one comma set state where so this first one here is a variable that contains value or current value of a state and the second one or second parameter that is returning back from the function that is actually a function also that will allow you to change the variable value or change the state value of that variable. So in our today's tutorial or today's example, what we are going to do is we will be using up these all events that we had set it up. On the base of that events, we will be changing some sort of things in our box. Those things are, we will be changing the color and we will be changing the scale of our uh, cubes or mesh that is appearing in our browser and lastly what we will be changing rotation of that object either it will be rotating or not let's say the rotation as we know that it's responsible of use frame hook if i will just comment out this code if i will go back to my web browser you guys can see my all cubes are still and it's not moving anymore so if i will make it back you guys can see my cubes are moving what i have to do here is if I will say rotate and I will keep the name here as set rotate and initial value I will keep it as false and these two lines of code I will pass it inside if condition that is rotate and if I will say if the rotate is true then rotate the cube otherwise no and this state value for it will be local for each component let's say my box spawn three times so each three boxes have different rotate variable inside it so this is the main normal way to create rotate you can create like this as well if condition but pro developers always use directly like this for true statement and like this for false statement so i'll be keeping like that so if i'll go back here you guys can see my if i'll reload my all cubes are stuck both of them are still on same place they are not moving anymore how i can swap the value how because initially the value is false i keep it how i can make it true i can make it true by using pointer down i don't need pointer up let's just neglect this one and inside this one let me remove this console.log what i will do here is set rotate I will just call this function and I will say whatever the old value of the rotate was, just flip that value. Flip means if it was false, make it true. If it was true, make it false. So let's go back and I will click on the box. You guys can see the value is flipped and the cube start moving. If I will click on the second cube, you guys can see the second cube start moving again. If I will click on that, it will be stop. If I will click on that, it, this is stop as well. So that's mean the value of this rotate variable that is available inside the state is separate for both these cubes. If like this, I have thousands cube or e then each thousand cubes will have their own state values. Similarly, if I want to change the color, how can I change the color? Let's say I can say 
होवर एंड सेट होवर ओके सो सेट होवर विल बी इफ आई इट्स इनिशियली फॉल्स इट शुड बी ट्रू वेन एवर आई एम होवरिंग द बॉक्स so i'll tell you how we can do that first i will just show you if hover is like let's say inside this color if hover is true i have to pass a color that is hexa color similarly it will be i will be switching between red and green if it's false what i have to do here is i will pass ff0000 okay let's go back to our browser and let me say like this let's pass this green initially yes yeah, sorry uh if it's true pass red green and if it's false pass uh, green sorry see this is r g sorry the second two are g and the third two are b so i told it that red is totally full green is zero and blue is zero in the second color i am telling you red is zero green are true and for and blue is zero as well green is to ff mean full color so it's kind of hexa color so if hover is true i will be seeing red color if hover is false i will be seeing green color initially hover is false if i'll go back my both cubes are true so what i have to do here is if i will say on pointer in what i have to do here is on pointer hover set hover what i'll do in the hover i will say true okay and whenever on pointer out set hover false so as soon as your pointer will go on top of cube the hover will be true and as soon as the hover is removed out or your pointer will go out from the box it will be false and if pointer is true your color should be what this one and that is red if pointer is false means you are out of that box or your cursor is out of that box then the hover will be false and you will see the color is green if i'll go back as as soon as go i i my pointer is going inside the box you guys can see the color is right as soon as i'm going inside the second box the color for the second box is red but the first one turn back to green so this is how you can switch between the color and how we can switch between the scale is simply you have to write down here scale that is variable that will take uh, an array as an input that will be like scale is actually a parameter that you will be passing you will be, you are allowed to pass to mesh 3d object it's it's actually an object 3d that mesh is actually inherited class from object 3d as i told you in the beginning there are couple of properties available we had learned before rotation Uh, position now we are learning for the scale as well and this scale will be let's say if hover is true so what we have to pass is 1.1 comma 1.1 comma 1.1 3d object so i will be passing x y sorry and z instances if it's not hover then pass 11111 let's hit save and go back to our browser and let's make it reload you guys can see as soon as i will hover the size of the box is increases increasing if I, if i will click it it will start rotation rotating if i will move out the box size gone back to an uh, original position and the color turns back to green if i will hover this one if i will click the second box it will start moving as well and the color is red as well so this is how you can manage the state i will stop this one i'll stop this one as well here we had mentioned similar things hover and rotate simply hover you can increase the scale and you can change the colors as well as i explained you guys so this is actually the basic overview of use state hook if you want to learn use state hook in detail i will patch up my react uh, js uh, hooks Uh, react js series related to hooks and the related video related to st use state hook go back there and you can learn in detail about use state hook as well and you can come back here to um, uh, keep continue this one or if you want to go on with basics we had explained the basics here already i hope you guys had understand it uh, that's it for today's tutorial and uh, please don't forget to like and subscribe our channel i'll see you in the next one until then take care and goodbye